Hello and welcome to Crafted Spaces. I'm Yvette Michelle Cottle Darby and thank you again for joining us. Today we're meeting with Jamie Irving of Trendy Tutus and she's going to be sharing with us what she does and a little bit of some very cute items today. Thanks Hi. for having me. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm really glad you were able to join us here at uh, Crafted Spaces and I believe uh, some of the things that you do, you do photography as well as um, the tutus. Yes, I do. And today you wanted to sort of share with us a little bit more about these really cute items. Thank you. So I guess what I wanted to sort of find out and I guess some of the ladies or gents might want to find out out there is a little bit more about what uh, Trendy Tutus does. Well, I started in August of 2010, actually, making tutus, and it started off uh, with inspiration from my niece, actually. Um, it was summertime, and I wanted to, I found out tutus were very popular, so I wanted to look online on how to make them, and I ended up making a pink one for my niece, and it turned out really great, and I posted a picture on Facebook, actually, and had great response from friends and family, and I actually had a couple people want to purchase one, so that's where I got my inspiration from, and I just started making more and more from there. Oh, awesome. So how old is your uh, niece? She's two. She's two years old? Yes. Okay. So tell us, Jamie, a little bit about, um, for example, I love this little green one here that has a gorgeous little butterfly. Um, what are some of the things that you use, uh, or where do you start in terms of your inspiration? I love to start with picking the ribbons. As you can see, I like to use really funky ribbons, like this one with the cupcake, or this one that's kind of a zebra print with teal in it. I love starting with the ribbons, and then after there, I work and I pick out the colors of the tool, and I order my tool, and once it comes in, I, I have to start with certain sizes for different size of children, because I make them for newborn babies up to adults if adults want to order them and so I cut my tool I sew my waistband and I'm off to the races oh awesome so you're telling me that I can have one of these you can anybody can <laughs> I love this and so Thank basically you. I noticed you use a combination of where you combine two colors and then there's the ones where you just use the single solid color yeah so people have the option of going more simple if they want to we can even do the plain pink traditional ballet tutu if that's what they're looking for but I really love to have fun with them and make them really funky. Okay and in terms of the length of them do you sort of go from sort of the shorter length to a longer piece or what's yes. the longest piece somebody can have? Everyone has an option they can go as long as they want although the cost will reflect that just due to the material um, but I usually do the 20 inch waistband which fits about two to even five years old depending on the children I do about 20 inch length. Okay. And the ones here that I notice, um, what you've also included, as I was showing earlier, is a, this little embellishment of the butterfly. So can someone also kind of add or request specific things like that? Absolutely. If there's something specific they want on it, just give me the details and I can go out and find it for them. Oh, great stuff. So the one over here, I think, is just adorable for the Christmas holiday <laughs> and has, of course, our traditional uh, sort of uh, green and red and white coloration Absolutely. onto it. Um, what do you find is most popular among um, your clients? Right now, due to Christmas, the Christmas ones are very popular. I have a candy cane color one and the snowflake with light blue and white. Um, but generally, this cupcake tutu seems to be the most popular one that I have. And I'm not sure if it's because of birthdays or people like to just love cupcakes, but that's my most popular tutu Well, I right guess now. it's cute and yummy. It is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Now, I guess one of the other questions that I wanted to ask you is why did you decide to start with, I know you just said the inspiration came from your niece, mm -hmm. but why specifically tutus in terms of, you know, different creative things um, that one can do? What made you decide to go in this particular direction? Well, I love how neat they are, and I, I've always been the kind of person that has to work with my hands, but I've never been a sewer. Um, like, sewing with sewing machines hasn't been anything that I've gotten into. Uh, so I love how simple they are to develop, but how much creativity you can put into them and how neat they come out in the end. Oh, lovely. So these are all a no-sew um, item, that's basically? Right. Okay. The waistband is sewn together, but that's okay. everything else is not sewn. Okay, wonderful. What would you say is most of your clients in terms of age? 
that they tend to sort of, or parents would tend to generally purchase the items I think for. it's about age two till five is the most popular, and that's why most of the sizes that I make are about 20 inches to fit those sizes. Okay. But we also have a lot of photographers buying the tutus to use as props for their photo shoots, and we have mothers buying tutus for newborn babies as well. Okay. And I don't know, the 10 or 11 year olds are kind of into Hannah Montana, and that's tutus are just a very popular thing with, with that those kind that of children. Age group as well. Right. Okay, and I might actually get one from you as well. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, I guess one of the other questions that I want to know from a business development standpoint, because part of what Crafted Space is about, as you know, is trying to also promote the idea mm -hmm. of a creative business venture, is what have you found so far has been perhaps, you know, or anything at all, mm -hmm. have you found has been sort of um, kind of a stumbling block? Or has there been anything that you've found so far to be a challenge starting up, as you said, just this past summer? In August, right. Uh, a stumbling block for me is probably uh, just getting out there and reaching the people that I need to reach, which is, you know, mostly mothers, but it could be aunts and grandmas as well. Uh, the biggest challenge for me is probably knowing how many tutus to have on hand and if I should stock them or make them as people order them because some people want them sooner and some want them later. So I really have to just get used to the whole ordering process and making them custom or do I store them. Okay, so is this your first business venture? This isn't my first business venture actually. Okay, so what have you done in the past uh, and how has that kind of helped you with this? I actually started doing photography in 2008 okay. and uh, this is kind of an interesting thing to do because I, I love to take pictures of children in tutus so if I can make my own props as well it kind of works out awesome. <laughs> okay so maybe can you tell us a little bit more about your photography and what you do? Sure my company is called Candid Photography and like I said I started in 2008 and I do photography ranging from weddings, children, maternity, families. Okay, so I guess some of your clients can be found in the tutus. Yes, we do have a couple. <laughs> okay, and I guess one of the other things that I wanted to sort of explore was what are some of the locations or places can one find your items? Absolutely, so I'm definitely all over Facebook. If you search Trendy Tutus or Candid Photography, and that's Candid with a K, you'll come up with both of my fan pages. And I also have websites, which uh, one is www.trendytutus.webs.com and the other is www.candidphotography.webs.com. Okay, well thank you so very much. So Jamie, tell us how would one go about finding um, your item or ordering one of your tutus? The best way to order a tutu is to hop on my website and click on contact us and fill out a form and I'll get back to you within at least 24 hours and we'll go from there. And if anyone's looking to see the product up close and you're in the Barrie area, I'm going to various craft shows throughout the Christmas season. Um, the next one coming up is December 4th at CFB Borden for anyone in the area. And if you're ordering outside of the country, no worries because we definitely ship all over the world. Okay, great stuff. And generally, how long does it take for an order to, like if I place an order today, mm -hmm. how long does it generally take for the order to be complete? I'll have it ready within two to four days and then add the shipping time on top of that. Okay, great stuff. Is there any promotion or any kind of upcoming things or other services that you provide as well? Absolutely. Uh, if you're looking to have your daughter or a little girl have her photograph taken in a tutu, uh, since I do photography and make tutus, we have packages accommodating both, so you can have a photo session in a tutu. And also, because every little girl loves to have their teddy bears or their dolls in a matching tutu. Oh my, that is so adorable. Yeah, so I make what I call teddy tutus. So you can order it matching to the regular size tutu, or you can have it a whole different color in itself. So they can sort of have sort of a mini version of the one that they have Absolutely. for their teddy bear. Now that sounds really adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and in terms of, I guess, your photography services, sorry, you were saying that you offer your photography services and combine a package with the tutus. That's but right. Where, do you just offer your photography services within Barry, or do you also go to other locations within Ontario or Toronto area? Yep, I'll definitely go outside of Barry if anyone's looking for me too. Great stuff. So I look forward to see more of what you're going to be doing thank with you. your tutus. And thank you so much for joining us. For and I love me. these. They're gorgeous. Thank you. And I hope that you go out there and that you go and visit her at her website. And perhaps you can contact Jamie for your own little tutu for yourself or a little one in your life. Thank you so much for joining us on Crafted Spaces, where it's all about creative people, places, and things to do.